The evolution of raptors is the fascinating story of how small, fast predators evolved into some of the most intelligent and successful dinosaurs. Raptors, or Dromaeosaurids. Dromaeosauridae are a group of theropods that lived during the late Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, from 160 to 66 million years ago. They are known for their sharp claws, fast running, and advanced intelligence. The evolution of raptors also gave rise to modern birds, making them a key group in studying the transition from dinosaurs to birds. The raptor is one of the oldest dinosaurs that lived about 231 million years ago in the Triassic period. It was a small and light predator making it an important figure in understanding the early evolution of dinosaurs. To understand how Eoraptor came to be, let's look at its ancestors, the reptiles that lived before it and laid the foundation for the evolution of dinosaurs. Early Ancestors, Protoves and Eoraptor The evolution of raptors begins with primitive theropods that appeared about 230 million years ago in the Triassic period. These early ancestors were small carnivores that walked on two legs and fed on small animals and insects. These early ancestors laid the foundations for the development of dromaeosaurids such as Velociraptor. But the same Eoraptor also had ancestors. Early Archosaurs, Proto-Archosaurs, Proterosuchidae, Eoraptor comes from a group of Archosaurs, the ancestors of dinosaurs, crocodiles, and birds. Some of the most ancient Archosaurs were Proto-Archosaurs, which lived at the beginning of the Triassic period, about 250 million years ago. These animals were small, predatory reptiles that had long bodies and powerful jaws. Protoarchosaurs were not yet as advanced as their descendants, but they already possessed a number of features that foreshadowed the development of dinosaurs. This is bipedal locomotion, a light body and adaptation to a predatory lifestyle. These reptiles gradually evolved and gave rise to more advanced forms that played an important role in the evolution of Eoraptor. Pseudosuchia early archosaurs approximately 245 to 230 million years ago. Pseudosuchia appeared a group of archosaurs that were already a more advanced form compared to protoarchosaurs. They were predatory reptiles with powerful jaws and teeth that began to develop more efficient methods of locomotion. An important feature of Pseudosuchians was their ability to move on both two and four legs, which helped them to be flexible hunters. Although they were not the direct ancestors of dinosaurs, Pseudosuchians shared common ancestors with them and helped shape key traits such as long limbs, making them fast and efficient predators. Lagosuchus, the direct ancestor of dinosaurs, one of the closest ancestors of Eoraptor is Lagosuchus, which lived about 240 million years ago. Lagosuchus was a small bipedal predator about 3 feet long, and its skeletal structure is remarkably similar to early dinosaurs. Lagosuchus had a light build, long hind legs and short forelimbs, which allowed him to move quickly on two legs. This makes it an important link in dinosaur evolution because its anatomy shows how early archosaurs began to develop the ability to walk bipedally. Lagosuchus probably hunted insects and small animals using its speed and agility. Marasuchus marcosuchus, which lived about 235 million years ago, was another ancestor of Eoraptor and represented an intermediate link between archosaurs and true dinosaurs. 
It was slightly larger than Lagosuchus and a more specialized predator, hunting small prey. Marcosuchus already possessed a number of key features that distinguished it from early archosaurs, such as a lighter skeleton and more developed hind limbs, which allowed it to reach high speeds when moving. Marcosuchus was bipedal and could probably run quickly using its long hind legs. Its forelimbs remained relatively short, indicating a transition from quadrupedal locomotion to full bipedalism. Evolutionary steps to Eoraptor towards the end of the Triassic period, about 235 to 230 million years ago, there was a further division of archosaurs into two key areas, the ancestors of dinosaurs and the ancestors of crocodilians. Eoraptor and its closest relatives were on the line that led to the evolution of dinosaurs. Eoraptor was one of the first dinosaurs to exhibit fully developed traits, such as bipedal locomotion and a predatory lifestyle. Unlike its ancestors, such as Lagosuchus and Marcosuchus, Eoraptor was already a full-fledged representative of dinosaurs, although it retained many primitive features. It reached about 3 feet in length, had sharp teeth suitable for hunting meat, and long hind legs, making it a fast and agile predator. Basal dinosaurs, predecessors of Eoraptor before the emergence of Eoraptor. Basal dinosaurs such as Saturnalia began to develop more modern features that led to the theropods. These basal dinosaurs were small bipedal predators and herbivores that began to develop the bone structure and movement system characteristic of Eoraptor. Saturnalia was one of the first primitive dinosaurs and may have represented a transitional form between early archosaurs and more advanced dinosaurs such as Eoraptor. Middle Jurassic theropods, the appearance of the first dromaeosaurs around 160 million years ago, during the Middle Jurassic period, more advanced theropods began to appear, which became the basis for the evolution of raptors. One of these early representatives is Sin Raptor, the ancestor of more specialized predators. During this period, Dinosaurs began to develop features common to raptors, light bodies, long hind legs, and claws for hunting. It is also important to mention Archaeopteryx, who lived about 150 million years ago. Although it is often seen as a transitional link between dinosaurs and birds, it was also related to Dromaeosaurids. Archaeopteryx had feathers and could glide from trees, which would also become one of the key features of raptor evolution. Late Jurassic Dromaeosaurs Emergence of key adaptations by the Late Jurassic About 150 million years ago, the first true Dromaeosaurids appear, such as Maakala and Giravenator. These dinosaurs possessed key adaptations that made Dromaeosaurids successful predators. Sharp sickle-shaped claws on their hind legs, powerful forelimbs for grasping prey, and enhanced sensory organs. These dinosaurs were small, about 3 feet in length, and led an active predatory lifestyle. Their claws were their main weapon, they used them to hold and tear apart their prey. It's also important to note that some dromaeosaurs may have had feathers at this stage, making them the ancestors of modern birds. Cretaceous Period Peak Development of Dromaeosaurs by the Cretaceous Period Dromaeosaurids reached the peak of their development and expansion. It was during this period that such famous representatives as Velociraptor, Deinonychus, and Utahraptor appeared. 
These dinosaurs had a number of unique traits that made them one of the most effective predators of their time. Velociraptor is one of the most famous dromaeosaurs, reaching a length of about 7 feet and weighing up to 15 kilograms. Velociraptor was a light, fast and extremely intelligent predator. It had sickle-shaped claws on its hind legs, which it used to tear apart its prey. Although its size was small, it was able to hunt prey significantly larger than its own size due to its speed and organized hunting. Deinonychus, about 115 to 108 million years ago, was somewhat larger than Velociraptor, reaching 10 feet in length. It had the same sickle-shaped claws and feathers, and some paleontologists speculate that Deinonychus may have hunted in packs, making them even more dangerous predators. Utahraptor, about 126 million years ago, is one of the largest dromaeosaurids, reaching a length of 23 feet and a weight of up to 500 kilograms. It was a true giant among raptors, but despite its size, it still retained its light build and powerful claws on its hind legs. Its size allowed it to hunt large dinosaurs such as sauropods. Intelligence and Social Behavior Raptors Especially species like Velociraptor and Deinonychus may have been quite intelligent for dinosaurs. They had relatively large brains compared to their body size, indicating advanced sensory organs and possibly complex behavioral patterns. One hypothesis is that raptors may have hunted in packs, making them organized predators. Their coordination in hunting allowed them to cope with larger dinosaurs by attacking from different directions at the same time. This is another trait that makes raptors unique among other theropods. Feathers' connection with birds' modern research confirms that many dromaeosaurs, including Velociraptor, had feathers. The feathers were probably used for insulation, display, and in some cases for gliding or jumping from trees. This feature provides further evidence that dromaeosaurs were the ancestors of modern birds. Transition to birds, the evolution of aviation. Towards the end of the Cretaceous period, about 66 million years ago, some dromaeosaurs began to develop lighter skeletons and structures suitable for flight. This led to the appearance of the first true birds, such as Microraptor. Microraptor was a small, feathered dinosaur that could glide from trees thanks to four wings located on its fore and hind limbs. This transition from land-based predators to flying forms demonstrates how the evolution of raptors culminated with the appearance of birds. The group that was able to survive the mass extinction of dinosaurs. The evolution of raptors is a striking example of how dinosaurs were able to adapt to different ecological niches and become one of the most successful predators of their time. From their primitive ancestors in the Triassic to the emergence of the first birds, raptors have come a long way, full of adaptations that have allowed them to remain at the top of the food chain. Thank you for watching our episode to the end. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do it right now. And also press the bell so as not to miss new and interesting videos from the channel Real Unreal.